Hey, my name is Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to build an irresistible rat trap. First off, you're going to need some supplies. A bucket, ramps, coat hanger, PVC pipe, end caps for PVC pipe, peanut butter, a drill, a hacksaw, and your mitts. First, cut off the bottom of your clothes hanger. Drill the holes in your bucket. Another thing to note, when you drill your holes, drill directly above where the handle attaches to the bucket on either side. That way you can make sure it's in the dead center of the bucket. Cut down your PVC pipe. Mine was a little long, so I had to cut it again, but if you cut yours at nine and a quarter, you should be fine. Drill your holes. I drilled these a little small, so I had to bore these out, but the perfect size is 5 64ths. Thread the clothes hanger through the PVC first, then add your caps. It just makes it easier that way. Fit it into the bucket, twist down the edges, cut off the excess, and you're good to go. The only thing left is to set up your ramps and add the bait. Right now I'm using tape, but eventually what I did is just take a screw and drive it through the end of this board. That way it can sit on the end of the bucket and comes on and off really easy instead of having to tape and untape and tape and untape. Another thing you can try is a diving board trap. You put this on the side of the bucket, you put the ramp here, and you put peanut butter at the end. When the rat comes up, he walks across and there's a magnet that releases and he falls into the bucket. So with this kind of trap, you can leave it empty or you can fill it with water. Personally, I don't want to drown them, but you might have this problem. Yeah, the catch is it only works on dumb mice. But to be fair, I have caught a lot of dumb mice this way. It's the smart ones that this type of trap doesn't really work with. And if it wasn't for my soft heart, I would put water in this thing and he would have been a goner. Of course, in this instance, I'm using it with mice, but it'll work for rats too. And that's it, it should take more than a few hours to set this thing up. Let me tell you from personal experience, this thing really works. If you're interested in the diving board trap, there's a link in the description below. If you have any results, be sure to share them below. I'm curious to see how this works out for you too. And I'll see you in the next video.